cabinet secretary for water and sanitation Simon Chelugui has hinted that they will be forming a tax force to deal with the issue of oil spillage that occurred on March 30 on the newly constructed Kenya Shings 48 billion Mombasa Nairobi pipeline. The tax force will comprise of Water Resources Authority, Kenya Pipeline Company, officials from the Ministry of Water, Makwen County Government, and the Ministry of Petroleum. The CS called on immediate intervention of Kenya Pipeline Company to reinforce their image to the public through corporate social responsibility where he asked the oil transportation company to adopt a health facility at Kiboko. Now step number two was uh, now to find out the extent to which the products had uh, spread into the subsurface. So to be able to know where and uh, the direction we started doing pitting using our excavator. Water table in this place is very shallow, uh, three meters. So we found the products floating on the water. So we continued and uh, identified quite a number of pits and then we deployed our bridger, the vehicle which now sucks the products from the surface. In SGS, which is a specialized quality control and a very credible international quality control company to come and help us to map with the precision using scientific methods to be able to delineate where the products, to the extent to which the products had gone. They were able to inform us that according to the direction where the products were flowing, and they identified also a fracture which formed the pathway uh, through which the products were flowing. So we followed that now to be able to do more excavation. So we started by identifying diesel, and then as time went by, we encountered uh, uh, super, um, and we were able to scoop this. So we took some samples in the surrounding water bodies and went to analyze, and our team uh, produced results, uh, the results of which uh, we did a write-up, which we are going to share with the NEMA, uh, county government, uh, a water Resources Authority uh, to make sure that uh, all the information is together. So what we are doing now is zeroing in on excavating and um, evacuating the products from the ground uh, to make sure that the ground is totally uh, clear of the products and then from there we will be able to put a new program now how to carry out remediation of the ground that has been affected. But all in all the analysis we did on our part, we looked for total petroleum hydrocarbons and uh, the, the results showed that uh, uh, it was negative as far as total hydrocarbon products are concerned. And we wish that that stays the position because the springs which are used for drinking water are about 600, 700 meters from here and we have taken steps to deep, deepen trenches so that we can restrain the products, if any, towards the eastern side, not to go to the extent where the uh, drinking water is. So that is the position. But we have agreed that with the Water Resources uh, Authority and the county government, we are going to work together uh, to form a working group and do the sampling together, carry out the analysis together, so that we can build the trust in each other's endeavor to make sure that we get to the solution of this problem. So that is our main aim, to be able to deal with this problem and find a solution for total cleanup of the environment, where we shall do a final remediation once we know the ground is clear of the products, and then we move to the next step. So that is where we are now. Uh, we have received uh, petitions and, and uh, requests from the county government of Makwene. The governor himself has expressed concern about what happened. We have come here, we have inspected, we have noted that the problem that was caused or likely to be caused by the oil spill around Kiboko area, around Kiboko river. We have carried out inspection and realized truly that the oil uh, there was oil spill and it has uh, gone underground for almost 600 meters. Efforts are being done now to restore and even stop the continuous uh, flow of this oil which is likely to affect the underground water aquifers. 
So to manage that, we are doing try we are doing wells and sub, uh, sipping out and separating water and oil. We have also agreed that we'll form a team between the Minister of Water, Minister of Petroleum, NEMA, uh, WARA, and also KPC to deal with the uh, uh, issues at hand, deal with the water, uh, alternative water sources, how the people, how these people of Kiboko uh, will access water, and uh, by giving them short-term solution. And we are also working on long-term solution, not only to address this disaster, but also as part of CSR uh, uh, activities by KPC, who are uh, traverse or who pipe their oil through this county of Makwen. Uh, we will look at possibilities of boreholes. The uh, Makwen County government will uh, make a, a case or a request on potential areas, and WRA will also assist in terms of permitting and identification of potential sites as a quick solution. But going forward, we will first want to have a sustainable restoring back the, the system that has been going on, or rather to protect it from pollution. Yeah. National Environmental Management Authority, Minister of Water and Minister of N uh, Petroleum. Tutaketi chini ili kupitia ma, uh, masungumzo. We will be able to come up with a matrix of the issues and how we are going to deal with them. Mambo ya maji alternative water sources is an issue to be discussed and dealt with. Alternative water sources ya watu hawa. Number pili. Tumeleza Kenya Pipeline ambao wanasimamia hiyo bomba la mafuta wachukue chukumu la kuka, kurekebisha na kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo mafuta haitasonga kupita mahali imefika. Wanaendelea kuchimba lakini tumewauliza waongeze yale machinery kutoka mbili mpaka tatu ili wiki ijayo tutakuwa tumesingira hiyo shi, mahali shida ilitokea. Ya tatu tumezungumza kwamba tutakuwa na joint monitoring Watu watakuwa na pima hiyo maji kwa mto kwa hii e, mahali maji inatokea hiyo chemchemi ya maji na pia kwa sehemu katika mto hiyo ya Kiboko watakuwa na pima na wana, wana, wa, they will be comparing notes hiyo ndio mambo ambayo tumesungumza nimesungumza pa, pia na kuomba Kenya Pipeline waweze kuleta uhusiano mzuri kati yao na wakaaji wa makweli kwa kufanya mambo ambayo tunaita community social responsibility working with the county government to maybe adapt an health facility to support health in the county of Makweni under the leadership of the county that is a default function they can work with the county adapt a facility here which will support them affected or those who are likely to be affected by the oil spill they will also need to look at the water needs of not only Kiboko area, considering this pipeline traverses this county, Kenya pipeline will need to... Makuweni Gawana Kivutha Kibwana, who was also present during the fact-finding mission, called on Kenya pipeline company to provide alternative water source. Kibwana raised fear that the pollution might have spread to an approximate distance of about 18 kilometers from the springs downstream. <coughs> the the said... In the meeting that we had, officers from his organization, the Water Resources <coughs> Authority, also took samples from six sites. And from those six sites, they found uh, oil and grease in each one of them. And uh, they stated that for the time being, the water was not sold uh, for human consumption. The KPC tested that finding because according to the samples that they took there were samples of uh, the, the, there were samples of uh, uh, super and, and uh, what's the other we, are, we, we transport diesel super and yeah. diesel. so uh, the water resources operator the, the regional office in terms of the samples which were taken to the only so, government the central government lab found that the water was contaminated 
And even as we stand here, when you just come in, you are hit with the oil. Uh, so even you don't have to do a lot of science to know that there's a problem. Uh, after you left, even as they continue to dig towards the eastern side, they are finding the same oil up to where those springs uh, are. And everywhere they have dug, there is oil. Or the, there is whatever products uh, which, 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 which are there. And uh, even we, in that public meeting that we had, we asked, if this water is clean, can we drink it and give confidence to the people, ourselves, that it is clean, it's good to go to check, which is not the situation. So I think if we deny and we bury ourselves in the sand, our heads in the sand, that there is a big problem, that is not the proper way to go. I know in government, whether it's a county government or national government, when we are confronted by a huge problem, the first reaction is to deny the problem. Uh, we have a history of fungi, which is still unresolved. And the people continue not to have, you know, drinking water. Their agriculture has been stalled for very many uh, years. Uh, we were even promised a big dam, uh, which never happened. Uh, and the fungi situation, the, the, the water went you know, through the run, through the Tanga River, up to Adri. And it was clear that plants, people were losing fish ponds, they were losing their mangoes. So it was clear that uh, it was really a major problem. Uh, of course, when it came to the compensations and all those things, partially, some of the people were compensated from upper Tanga. <coughs> the lower Tanga people were never dealt with as, uh, as uh, it was. We want to pursue our own separate line, Correct. and you guys pursue your own separate line to solve the problem. Because in Tanga it didn't work. Uh, it didn't work as we anticipated. Even here we are not sure it can. Uh, because uh, as we carry the, the, we carry something that is really national government. Uh, it is not always fair because we don't have the resources. Like even now when we start passing water, you know, uh, uh, trucking water, we don't have budget. So we have to suppress things, some other things to start giving water because they can't wait until there's that procurement thing. Uh, so this is why we are saying uh, as our national government, <coughs> because we are a shareholder, a stakeholder in that government, we really want you to take these two things seriously. I think you went down because they called you a tangent and you went down and you spoke to them. So we really need you to take this thing seriously. Uh, like now we must have another major source of water here uh, because we can't even boil, so we advise that we can't even do balls near here. Uh, because of the, 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 the other thing is that the soil is porous. It's uh, something we call kibuti. So that is why, and, it, and the water is very low. The water table, yeah. table is very low. Mm -hmm. So that is why uh, when oil gets there, it spreads very quickly. And even as we go towards where the springs are, the eastern side, we'll find that already the oil is there. Uh, contrary to what SG, SG, SGS. SGS predicted, <coughs> we'll, find, we'll find that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know how fast it takes to do the the huge dams <coughs> for this place so that now we have an alternative source as, as the cleaning goes on and credible cleaning uh, because in Tange there has been cleaning and we were told it's okay but it's not okay because you dig and you see oil. The national government has accepted that there is a major problem uh, here and uh, that's the beginning of like beginning to uh, solve uh, the problem. Uh, we have said that particularly KPC uh, must uh, offer a, a solution, a short-term solution of uh, providing water for these communities because uh, this uh, pollution affects about 18 kilometers of uh, people who depend on water uh, from here. Uh, of course it goes up to uh, the river and so it's a major uh, disaster. Uh, we think for quite a while we'll need a major source because these uh, springs uh, may not be uh, accessible uh, for safe water for quite a while. Uh, 
we, we also say that we need also Thwake, uh, sorry, not Thwake, but uh, Thange, where there was also an oil spill, for both Kiboko and Thwake to be dealt with conclusively uh, together. And uh, we are very, uh, uh, we, we are not happy that some of the people who work for the national government who tested some of this water were approached by CID to go and write uh, statements. And we uh, have said that we want those people uh, to go before the, I, the IG uh, uh, or IPOA so that that matter, you know, uh, is looked at. And finally, uh, there is a, uh, the question of uh, the people now, uh, their agriculture, because it's a center of horticulture, now they are not able to access the foreign markets and the uh, uh, other markets in, in the country like Mombasa and so on. So we are also saying that there must be provision for uh, replacement of their fam family livelihood uh, 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 means. Uh, and, 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 and we have asked the presidency, uh, if possible, to come down to Makwene because this is a major uh, disaster so that they can also help us in terms of uh, sorting it out uh, once and for all. The matter for the national government, uh, in actual fact, even the water that we are helping with ourselves, we will have to charge KPC uh, so that, because already we are, busing, we are tracking water, we, we should uh, get uh, recompensed by KPC.